Have a seat, church. Thank you guys for being here today as we enter into our prayer time. I would like you guys to find next to you your prayer cards. This prayer card right here, I feel is so important because on this prayer card, we want to know what wins you had last week, last year. We also want to know what things you need help with. Somewhere your church can stand with you and say, look, we're going to partner with you. We're going to pray you through this trial. We're going to pray you through this storm. We're going to celebrate this great thing going on in your life. But to get those things from you, we're not mind readers. We have to know. So if you would, take out your prayer card and fill it out. And as our host team brings up our baskets, I would want you to think about what you want to put down today, what you want to thank God for, what you want to ask God for. In our prayer time, we also we get to dedicate this time to continue in worship through our giving. And today I want to read you some scripture that just speaks a lot of truth in our giving. If you would, it's going to be up on the screen, and it's in Mark 12, verse 41. Jesus sat down near the collection box in the temple and watched as the crowds dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Then a poor widow came and dropped in two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others who are making contributions. For they gave a tiny part of their surplus, but she, poor as she is, has given everything she had to live on. So, in those days, they didn't have passing of the plate and things like that. They did it kind of similar to what we do. And Jesus sits back and he watches the collection box. And he watches as people come up, just as we do with this church, and place into the box what they want to give to God. Jesus sees this widow come up. And if you took what she put in the box and, and fast forward to today, she put in there roughly about $4. But this, the Bible says, is all she had to live on. And that just speaks to me because when the Bible tells us the story, it points us to the type of giving that we ought to give. Jesus teaches us exactly how we should give in our life. He says, be like me in your giving. And he looks at this widow and she comes up and it was a true sacrifice. I tell you today, as we worship in giving, true worship contains sacrifice when you give up yourself and she put it in the box she had to trust God and know God would take care of her to be there for her and don't we want to be reliant on God and not this world don't we want to be reliant on what he can do and not what we can do that's exactly where he wants you he wants you to be able to sacrifice in a way that it hurts and sacrifice in a way that it wakes you up and makes you very sensitive to what's going on. That's exactly what she did. And that's what I pray that would happen in your life. As you give, give in a way that it's not just something that becomes a tradition or a ritual. Give in a way that I challenge you to be sacrificial in your giving. To where you say, God, I see what you've done in my life. And all I can do is smile and thank you. And I'm going to place this sacrificially knowing that you're going to take care of me because he's a good father in heaven. Let's pray over our tithes and our offerings. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, today that you teach us so well, God. In this story with the widow, God, we understand that she gave a lot, God, but we know that you gave a lot. We follow after you. We, we, we walk our path towards you, God. At the same time, we understand how you gave and how you served. You served so sacrificially, God. And you call our church to do the same thing, Father. We don't want to be lukewarm anymore. We don't want to be normal anymore, God. We want to be on fire for you. We want every part of our life to be that way, God. We want that to be in our giving as well. We love you, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name.